Welcome to our 2023 year end Simsbury Camera Club campus. Here's our little agenda for this evening. First of all, it's really a wrap up, but it's more like a recap than a wrap up. It's really celebrating the artistry, the enthusiasm, and the volunteer spirit of our club members throughout this past year. Then comes the clever caption contest. <laughs> followed by 2023 promotions and awards, and then the 2023 year-end award winners. And there's gonna be one last award. So having said that, this is our 2023-24 slate. And then actually, because we are in two years since, this is our 24-25 slate. Did I not tell you about that? <laughs> President Linda Pickinger. Where are you, Linda? Hi there. <laughs> By oh, back to oh, I gotta do this backup thing. There you go. Let's see, last year. Use the mouse. Yeah, you got it. I need training here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you. All right, I will to be very clear. By the way, before I move ahead, and I'm I'm really embarrassed because I didn't do this. I want to greet everyone who's on from a Zoom perspective. So Frank, can you let us know who's with us on Zoom? Again, my apologies for not acknowledging you to begin with. So Frank, let us know. Hey, other than myself, uh, John Kokinas, Libby, and David. John Kokinas, Libby, and David. David. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. I, I really appreciate that. And I'm sorry you couldn't be here in person. So our vice president is Kevin. Where are you, Kevin? Secretary Aline. Thank you for sticking with us, Aline. Treasure is going to be Frank Saramba. And I'm the immediate past president. <laughs> All right, we're going right on to membership. We had. We now have 61 members and 10 new members in 2223. So thank you. Everyone can go to the Look Who's Join page. It gives you a lot of detail on the new members. And please reach out if they're the same um, interests or the same equipment. I think it would be very much appreciated. And then we've got Grace. There is Grace. Great. Now a sophomore at the end of this year. You're, you've already gone on to your sophomore year now as of today, right? At University of Hartford, and you're majoring in fine arts, and the, what, you're going to be a degree in fine arts and a major in photography, correct? Photography and biology, wow. A double major, wow, impressive. And you're now the winner of scholarship award and win, uh, photography awards the Greater Lynn Photographic Association, and once again, New England Camera um, Club Council, and CAP, Connecticut Association of Photography. Congratulations. Ooh. Really awesome. You must be extremely impressive to keep garnering more, <laughs> more money there. Fantastic. Thank you. Congratulations. Fond remembrance. We lost two members this last year. Claire Padron, everyone knows Ray Padron. Claire was his wife and she was just a delight and we enjoyed seeing her at our meetings and um, very much a loss. And Richard Provost. Richard, Richard um, was a key member of Simsbury Camera Club. Uh, the last year he served as the outings uh, coordinator, did a fantastic job. But for those of you who don't know, um, that he was also 
world renowned in the world of guitar. And uh, he was professor emeritus at Hart School of Music, but literally world renowned. When they had his, his uh, celebration of life, people from all over the world came to celebrate his life. He, he is a fantastic um, person. And I just had to put this in there. That was uh, the last event that um, Dick arranged, and that was the December 4th, 2021 uh, Ripley Waterfowl uh, outing. It was really a lot of fun. Okay, moving on to SEC activities and accomplishments, and there are many. Oh, it's time for a $25 gift card. All right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> spurious rumor that I would win. Okay. How about Bill Payne? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you. These will just show up randomly. And I just want to say before I go into all this, thank you to everyone who's volunteered. And we've had so many volunteers. This is a very active organization and it's had tremendous volunteer efforts. They're the lifeblood of the, the, the club. Absolutely. And it makes everything that we do possible. And I want to point out our incredibly wonderful SEC website. It certainly is the envy of the industry with many, many thanks to Vitaly. And I'm going to add to that. Thank you. I'm going to add to that. Thanks to John and Frank for continuing to support Vitaly and, and doing edits as needed. So thank you very much. And this has been, you know, really a, a major contributor. We've gone from um, Lorraine, who did a fantastic job, and now Linda Fickinger has taken over, and many, many thanks to Linda for beautifully maintaining and updating our Facebook page. So many thanks. She's been a major contributor to attracting new people to our club, so thank you. Oh, member recognition column. Um, I got selected by Elaine. And you can't say no to Elaine. So <laughs> sooner or later, she wears you down. So this month, it's me. And many thanks to Elaine for doing such a wonderful job for writing it up. So thank you. And many thanks to Elaine, Lou, and Judy. Oh, back again. Back up again. I, I know I shouldn't do this. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be very careful. Should I hold it? I'll hold it. <laughs> That's scary, right? <laughs> I just wanted to point out that there are a wealth of columns on member recognition, and they're just so worth reading. I mean, Lou pointed out to me Nathan Gutman's uh, write-up, and these are fantastic. So please take a look at them. And um, Nathan's is one I would really suggest you all read. It's it's really inspiring. He survived the Holocaust and so much more. So go read the columns. They're interesting on every individual. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you. Now the library lecture series. And many thanks to Frank for setting up the library lecture series. They've been extremely impressive. We had a wonderful, wonderful array of speakers. I'm not going to be going through them, but look at them all. We had a great year Again. from from black and white to astrophotography. It was outstanding, and so many, many thanks to Frank for ordering. Here we go, Nancy. I'm going to get my plugs out. You get your plugs out. <laughs> get my plugs. <laughs> the 2020 to 2023 Sinsbury Public Library displays were outstanding. A real diversity. Thank you. We've got Mark's display of 
of the black and whites, which was just a tremendous array. And it was fantastic. So this is just simply a sample of the displays that took place in the library and many, many thanks to Nancy. Uh, starting in September, if anybody wants to take it, let me know. Okay, so that is the big question. We need more for next year. And just let Nancy know because it's it's really uh, an open season. You can do what you want with it. And we've seen a lot of diversity. Quinn did a fabulous selection of images as well as oil paintings. Marked it a full array of black and whites. It's something that you can decide what you want to share. And then the Sims very fly in and the car show. That was September 25th. We had a number of photographers there Linda, Terry Ann, Mark, Earl, and Bob Q. And many thanks to David for organizing this. Here's just a couple of the images. I thought the images were great. I'm just sharing just a few. And I have to point out that Frank has made himself available to be a personal mentor to anyone in A and B class, and he's done a fantastic job. I just wanted to make sure we pointed out that that was a capability that he offered throughout last year. And then we had all of the events that were really contributions to Sinsbury and the community. The first of those was the Sinsbury Public Library Halloween party. It was October 26th, and Frank, Karen, and Terry Ann all participated in creating the photographs. Then that was followed by another Halloween event. This was Sinsbury Public Library Halloween story time on October 31st. Frank and Aline covered that. This was followed by another event that was involving Terry Ann and myself and a few others. In Night by Light, this is December 4th. And here's just a few good pictures of that, including one of you, Terry Ann. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the outings that we had. We had three camera club outings, the first of which was um, August 3rd. And this was the, um, the New Britain Bees. And that was followed by picturesque Collinsville in October. And then we had the Our Farm outing this past spring. Many thanks to Karen, Frank, and John. The first one of these was the Sinsbury um, Camera Club outing to the new communities. That was on August 3rd. Excuse me. And I thought these pictures were great. Oh, and I particularly like that one of you. <laughs> and then the outing to the Collinsville Dam, Collinsville area. Once again, this was followed by an after the break special session. The images that came out of this were marvelous. And then finally, this was probably our big one of the year, the Our Farm outing, which was a two-part outing. The first one was the actual physical outing in, in the Hour Farm. And here's a few pictures. <laughs> Nancy, there you are. From the <laughs> we had a great turnout for this, and it was a very good outing. Susan Casey made a long jump. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you got a lot of pictures of the bats photographers. <laughs> And that was followed by um, a second session that Frank held on how to handle, you know, really, what was it, stacking? Yes. yes. Photo stacking. Focus stacking, sorry, focus stacking. And then followed by another display. Very, very well done. And there's still one out here to come. There's going to be one on August 26th. Frank is holding a session at the Simsbury Public Library in the Friends Room on between 10.30 and 12.30. And it's a bring your own camera. So why would we do that? It's to really learn how to use your camera in something other than program or auto mode. Going from anywhere from working on autofocus to close-up photography to ultraviolet, the whole camera. 
And so that's going to be August 26th. And that's followed up with one more great Sinsbury Camera Club event. That's going to be the back to school party. And Frank is working right now with the library to get the details done on this. But it's the Sinsbury Camera Club is going to be handling the back to school photos. It's going to be great backdrops. That's one of the backdrops that Frank has. And volunteers will be needed, and there'll be lots more coming out on this. And this is something that uh, the library is very excited about. And then, of course, we can't miss the family photo shoot. That was done on November 5th and November 12th. And there were 38 families that attended this year, making $1,900. Now, a lot of that money goes toward supporting this banquet here and supporting our speakers, et cetera. And we had a lot of volunteers. Aline, Bill, Dick, John, Karen, Linda, Mark, Mary Lou, Owen, Pam, Peter, Quinn, myself, and Terry Ann. And of course, Frank and Rob. <laughs> Here's just a few pictures from it. I, I can't help myself, I'm sorry. This is a recap, you have to see them. I thought this was great. And I've always loved this picture because <laughs> it's the best <laughs> And it's thanks to Owen, and Owen was using a pup called Scooter. And that, <laughs> that little guy loved it. <laughs> now, the interesting thing about this picture is that this family's been going to the family photo shoot for years. So this is them before they even had the little. We've had a lot of people showing up that have been there for many years. And there's a lot of opportunity. So when you guys get asked if you want to shoot at the family photo shoot, there's a tremendous amount of opportunity for creativity um, and, and some great family uh, portraits and portraits and periods. And there was a well-behaved newcomer. <laughs> One of the other things that we do with the monies that we earn from our, this event at Sinsbury Public Library is we make donations to the Sinsbury Public Library. Sinsbury Public Library, as you have heard, has come up multiple times already. But they've been extremely supportive of the camera club, extremely. And they're a good reason why we are so successful in the family photo shoot. They organize the signups, et cetera. So fantastic. One of the things was a great chess set. And then the other one I showed you before saying, what is it? It is a big sandbox, but these are what the, what the Simsbury Public Library Children's Department really wants. <laughs> One other thing that happened, I did a presentation to Rotary and I had intended to do it to a, some more organizations, but this is the one I did last year. And we covered what we did. Now, the purpose of these presentations is twofold. One is to engage people in understanding what is happening in a club and see if they're interested in joining it. And number two is to contribute to the team photo challenge. Oh. Here's an advertisement popping right up in the middle. It's time for everyone to renew their membership. And all you have to do is go to the web page and sign up for your new membership for the next coming year. Oh, it's time for another $25 gift card. Pay for the membership. Right yeah. after the membership. <laughs> all right, let's see who we get this time. So just scrunch them all up. Scrunch my name's Daniel. 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 No, your name's not. <laughs> and this goes to Owen. You're welcome. Okie dokie. All right, moving right along. The next major event we had was the Team Photo Challenge. And this was an extremely successful Team Photo Challenge. It was, oops, that's me. Sorry. It's the daughter with all the dogs. Um, 
Uh, this, this event was beautifully, beautifully managed by Aline Galen and Mary Richardson, the Sidsbury Public Library, like Teen Services Library, did a fantastic job. And there were absolutely we didn't clap with it. And there was a lot of people involved in this too. Uh, Frank, Judy, Linda, Quinn, myself, John, Dick, and Terry Ann. And as well, we had two very strong sponsors, one at Ethel Walker and one at Sinsbury Public Library. That's the very public high school. Sorry. So we're used to saying public library. Mm -hmm. Kind of falls off. And over here is a kind of a list of all the sponsors, which included four sponsors, five sponsors that we got through Rotary. Here's the judging process. Everyone has to go through all these wonderful pictures and select the winners, and that is so difficult. And then on to the actual Team Photo Challenge Award Ceremony. This is 525, it was actually very well attended. Um, Aline is doing some of the announcements, those are some of the people sitting there, and we're beginning to announce. These are the two top winners. First place was Kevin Nadalga, Sunlight Man. And the second place, I mean, the first uh, best in show was Toby Crawford, and it's called Sunset. Now, I also selected one of the other pictures that took second place in our club, evaluation, and this is uh, a picture called Silence by Nana Toku Kwaki. That picture was selected as the first place winner for the 2023 5th District Congressional Art Competition. It was a competition that resulted in 197 entries from 163 participating artists in grades nine um, through 12 in 23 schools within the district. This picture is going to be displayed in DC and it's very impressive. Going back to the hallway displays, Frank took the pictures from the, the contest, and Frank made sure they were beautifully mounted and hung up in display in the public in the library. <clears throat> so the 2023 interclub competitions, with many many thanks to John and Bill, the Tommy, and the judging and comment reader volunteers. We have 11 intra-club competitions over nine months. These are traditional competitions. And the whole point is for us to get further information, to learn more, and to up our game. I think these are very important points because, because the competitions require judging and scores, we do our best to accomplish that. Right. However, we fall short of perfection, but it is. It's expected when we ever attempt to assign a number to an image. These competitions can be frequently fun, fulfilling, and educational, but they can also be a little disappointing, sometimes a little bit deflating, and at times they might be outright unfair. It's kind of what happens in life. So the point is that please, participate and enjoy the positives as we continue to work through minimizing the negatives. You'll never be perfect, but I have to say with John at the helm, he's doing everything he can to make it perfect. So here's for John. And another quote that he put at the bottom, there's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in, let it go in. <laughs> So last year, image submissions, 805. Of those, 580 were regular and 225 were special categories. And all of this is possible due to the incredible, and I mean incredible efforts of John Straub, Bill Payne, and Vitaly to get everything post. But I don't want to diminish the role of either the judges or the comment readers. 
the judges commit a tremendous amount of time to doing their absolute best to come up with their analysis of the measures. And the comment readers, God bless them. They take, <laughs> they take everything that we say and try to make it make sense. So again, the judges, Frank Zaremba, Libby, myself, Jeff, Aline, Dick, Bill Eternus, Lorraine, Karen, Linda, John Parisi, Bob Ferrate, Mary Lou, Peter Rosado, and the comment readers again, bless their hearts. Yeah. Eric Wolf, Peter Rosado, Judy Brown, Rabinowitz, and Mary Lou. And if I've missed anyone, my apologies, but thank you all because I know it's a very major commitment to doing the judging and the comments. I so think you them. missed Buck. I forgot. Mary Lou's dog. <laughs> and these are the categories for next year. This is actually very exciting. Um, Danielle spearheaded the effort to come up with the categories for next year. Now the regular categories track with a lot of what we would expect, open nature traveler. But look at the special categories. My goodness. One is per chance to dream. Another is panning and intentional camera movement. Um, shallow depth of field, less than perfect. Human emotions, leading lines, incongruities, music, seascapes, and cityscapes. What a fantastic list of things to stimulate people's focus on creating new imagery. Now, the definitions of these will be out. Um, John, yeah, I'll be sending an email tomorrow. John said he'll be sending an email tomorrow, and this will be posted by Vital. Yeah, Vital. Awesome. This is going to be quite exciting. Many thanks to Daniel and thanks to John too. And here we go. Now we're into the 2022-23 Inter Club competitions. Many thanks to John and Bill. I, I think I could say many thanks to John and Bill. Many thanks to Frank throughout this whole thing. Um, first of all, when we had our last meeting, I was able to give the updates on all of the spring results with one exception. So I gave spring results for any triple C. Um, uh, photographic um, PID um, and nature, and I wasn't able to give the PSA nature. This is the spring results for nature, so I didn't want to miss that. And we came out seventh out of 33 clubs in Group C. Now remember, PSA is Photographic Society of America. This is an international competition. This is a big deal competition. We came out seventh, and, and we'll be talking about for the year shortly. But two of the photos of the many photos that contributed to our success were a hug for mom, Marley Oder. And John McGarry. Successful fishing trip. And now for the year end summary. For PSA, PSA projected image division, we came out second of 25 clubs in group C. And that is just amazing. And in PSA nature, we came out nine of 33 clubs in group C again. Now we're on to any triple C. Any triple C Victoria Victorial Open. We tied for six out of 26 clubs in group A. And then any triple C nature, fifth out of 20 clubs in group A. Again, outstanding results. But during the year, we had members getting specific awards throughout, and I just wanted to capture some of them. This is just a sampling. So this is a juried, open juried virtual photography award 
show in Agawam. And we had multiple, multiple winners. We had two second place, Karen and John, and Eric got honorable mention. And then moving on, John McGarry got first place in nature, again, with that gorgeous picture, successful fishing trip. And Karen got best in show for creative. Other world, congratulations. And there were other competitions as well. So for example, Merle did exceptionally well in Big E with two blue, uh, blue winners, uh, blue ribbon winners. And Libby did very, very well for the National Wildlife Federation. Her image was selected for their 2023 holiday card uh, offering. And then I'm just going to end up our individual awards with it as a summary of Thomas in Connecticut. In Thomas in Connecticut, we had 24 Sinsbury Camera Club winning images. <clears throat> and out of the top 100 in Connecticut, we had 24. And some people had a number of images that hit the top 20, top 100. <laughs> Libby had four. My goodness, Bill had three. Frank had three, just incredible. Well, this done very well this year. So thank you. Bill the turnips. Bill. All right, we're coming to the end. Burn your eyes and burn your eyes. <laughs> 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 We're on to the clever passion contest. My apologies. Traditionally, uh, at these year end banquets, we had until four or five years ago a speaker give the presentation in addition to the award presentation. And all those were informative, they kind of cast a, a little bit of a wet blanket over the celebratory atmosphere of the, of the event. So uh, in their great wisdom, the board four or five years ago decided, let's let's scrap the speaker in favor of doing something additional, small thing fun to uh, fill out the evening. And um, since that time, we've had well, a couple of different events, including a uh, Who's That Kid event where we have people to send in baby pictures or pictures of them as children. And then people, we've posted them all out here on posters and people try to guess who that, who's that kid. So, I, I do have think this is regular. And then last year we had several people give a short presentations of various groups of pictures and went into how they got those particular shots. And that was, uh, that was fun. Now this year, Susan asked, all of you to suggest another topic and um, the uh, wizard from Winstead, John Harrison, <laughs> came up with the uh, caption idea and he instantly became a member of the clever captain competition committee. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Kevin Pulse agreed to join uh, me sure. and uh, John to uh, finalize that committee. And we, uh, from the board and from a few other people, got uh, a group of images from which we selected eight to uh, choose for doing captions. And with that, we were, um, uh, we sent out a, I created a, a, uh, a, I asked everybody to send in 
recommended uh, captions for each of these. And 13 people did send in at least one caption. Many of them sent in captions for all eight images. And when I put those all on a ballot and I sent them to all of you and asked you to vote for the three of your favorite for each image. And these are the results. There are no, are no prizes other yeah. than the uh, admiration and appreciation of your fellow club members. Okay, this, this is uh, one of my pictures that uh, comes from one of my granddaughter's dance recitals. Um, neither of these young ladies is my granddaughter, but the, um, it appears that the taller dancer is uh, asking a question of some sort of the short dancer. <laughs> and it was up to all of you to decide what that question might be. So the, there are two runners up and one winner. The runners up are not in any particular order, but uh, the honorable mention from Frank Zaremba, that didn't sound like a teapot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and from Dolores Brown, is that a plie or a relevé next? And uh, those are apparently ballet. That's all I know about that. And then the winner came from Bob Klein to back off to go on the lobby. <laughs> Now, this is a picture that Susan Case, who would have guessed, uh, took when, when she snuck up uh, from behind on these three lions who made themselves were practicing their sneaking up on stuff. And uh, she got this picture. Uh, this picture uh, had three captions that scored exactly the same. And so we have a three-way winner here. Uh, do you see China again? Where Judy Rabinowitz and Judy apparently gathered with friends to pick at things. I don't know if there was alcohol involved or not. Anyhow, she insisted that her friends get credit as well. Um, and psst, okay, guys, chomp on three. Ready? Great. That's from Pam Carter. And the last one is maybe if we scrunch down, the fish won't see us. <laughs> okay, uh, these two ladies were in, appear to be enjoying coffee, completely unaware that at the next table was renowned street photographer John Carisi, Cameron, and Anne. If I knew their names, I would have invited them to attend tonight, uh, <laughs> along with their lawyer. <laughs> so um, the first runner up is, yes, mom, it's called a smartphone and it takes pictures. <laughs> Another uh, runner up is, and here you are stealing a package <laughs> off my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and then the winner is, smile, mom. I want you to know Peter's name. It keeps coming up in his captions. <laughs> we'll see it. Okay. Um, meet Tommy. Tommy is the uh, seventh and the youngest uh, grandchild Tommy and I have. And we, just between you and me, we are in hopes that if common sense and contraception prevail, that he will always be our youngest grandfather. That said, I'm spread among three families. Anyhow, I, I got Tommy to pose for this picture by telling him that the dog had just, had just, uh, Drank his uh, his next bottle. <laughs> so here are the uh, the captions that one first honorable mention is from me. It's you mean you never wear diapers? <laughs> <laughs> you got shot down by the red bear in how many times? <laughs> and the winner is and then they stuffed you with what? <laughs> Linda 
Fickinger apparently also is required to attend grandchildren's chance recital. <laughs> and uh, this is one of hers. First honorable mention is Princess Leia clothing program. Kevin <laughs> Pulse. Obviously, we are Princess Leia's daughters. <laughs> And the winner is if the Tin Man and Dorothy had daughters. <laughs> Very true. This is a picture I took at a New Britain Bees game. Uh, the guy in the foreground had just uh, scored after hitting a home run and was hot dogging a bit. And if you know anything about baseball, catchers hate when this happens. <laughs> <laughs> And I suspect the next attack he was going to need his helmet. <laughs> Probably tender, yeah. But anyhow, um, honorable mention uh, from Bob Ferrante was uh, should call for a curveball. And then you catch the ball your way, and I'll do it my way. That Peter Rosado guy again. <laughs> and then the winner is, and that's how it's done. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Fickinger captured uh, this one year old at the moment of complete satisfaction at his first birthday party. <laughs> and uh, these are the uh, captions that honorable mention never too young to mark. <laughs> <laughs> Had a lot to consider here, <laughs> Carter. And the winner is, they say this cream makes you look younger. I think it's working. <laughs> now, I don't know how John Parisi got this picture. I wonder if he's got a, a detector on his camera that triggers the shutter when someone yawns. I don't know. Uh, anyhow, here are the captions for this uh, photo. Honorable mention. Can you hear me now? Uh, field researcher for the Fly Country Institute. Truly. And then the winner is I wouldn't have to yell if you took your earbuds out. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who participated in this exercise. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So it's all yours. Thanks for doing that, John. That was fun. And others. Okay. Peter, you, you certainly are a group of words. <laughs> All right. Oh, guess what? It's another twenty-five dollar gift. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well. Yeah. It's a problem. All right. Lorraine. Okay. Yep. Okay. Moving right along, we're going on to the 2023 promotion mm -hmm. and awards. Certificates of promotion. That's okay. Put that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's just water. It's where. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Hendrix. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's, let's get rid of this too. Okay. Be professional here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the requirements for getting a certificate of award. First of all, you must have submitted 14 images. 
in the last during the last year in the regular category. <clears throat> then the second criteria is you must. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Why don't I just the first one? Hi. Must have achieved a point average at or above the average of the competition class into which you are being promoted. And the first promotion is Bob McKinney. Bob is going from class B to class A. Was here. No, I don't remember making any okay. All right. <clears throat> Lynette, you know he's here. Bob Ferrante. Bob, if you can notice, is last day. The next promotion. Is Jeff Levesque. Jeff is <laughs> Congratulations. And now, end of the year medallion winners. So there are a number of categories here. The first is total, high total points in each of the classes. The second is high average points in each class. And the third category is second high average in each class. And the class B medallion trophy winners, high point, high total points. <laughs> And I neglected to show the next part of that, which is Quinn submitted 21 images for 487 plus. I average is Bob McHugh. And Bob, Bob submitted 16 images with a 24.19 average. And the second high average points is Mark Yes, you do. <laughs> well, Mark, it's 15 images, 2367. Congratulations, Mark. Just disappeared again. Okay. Class A, medallion trophy wins. High total points, Eric Wall. Eric is not here. I believe he's in Croatia. But getting more points. <laughs> getting more points. He had 22 images for 544 points. High average points, Jeff Levesque. 14 images, 26.0 average. Job, Second high average, Toronto. Oh. Bob has 16 images, 25 and two, eight, one. Congratulations. Okay. Oh. Moving on to Salon. The medallion and trophy winners in the salon. High total points, Frank Zaremba. Hey, Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
22 images, 567 points. Ooh. By average points, Merle Yoder. Yeah, Merle. <laughs> Images 25.79. Congratulations. <laughs> and second high average point. We're back to Frank. Frank yeah. to this 25.77. That is incredible. Congratulations, Frank. And we're back to another 25. So now we're at the 2023 end of year. We have honorable mention and trophy winners. This is our outside judge. Our outside judge is Lisa Kuchara. Her, her background is just incredibly impressive. A PhD, master craftsman, and, and photography, master of artistry and photography, just incredible. Co-owner of photography by Lisa and Tom. She is an OM or Olympic system ambassador for OM systems. She's the author of photography books and she's a professor at Quinnipiac University. And she's the one who out of 375 images selected 90 as honorable mentions and eight the end of year trophies. And right now we're going to be going to the honorable mentions.
<laughs> okay. Frank, can you uh, yes, we can now. Okay, sorry about that. He's been there all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Frank, for letting us know. As I was saying, for each trophy, we'll be presenting a replacement plaque to the 2022 winner for that particular trophy. Then we will show the image that has won that trophy in 2023, and I will read the judge's comments, which is why the lights had to go back up again. Um, and we will then present the trophy to the maker of that image. I got your phone in my hand. Oh, the mouse. The mouse. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, the first, and I'm going to be going through these because I think everyone still needs to get a refresher on what these trophies are all about. The first one is the Judy Rabinowitz Alternate Class Photo Travel Award. Yay, Judy. Yay. Judy is a longtime enthusiastic contributor to SCC in so many roles, including president and vice president. Currently, she contributes as a comment reader and author and as our unofficial, maybe official, well <laughs> ambassador. Thank you, Judy. And that's the award. So last year, in 2022, the Judy Rabinowitz Alternate Plus Award went to Libby Ward, the mm -hmm. Avenue of the Oaks, Wormslow Plantation. And Libby's not here to receive it, but I'm sure she'll appreciate the applause on the phone. And we have a, a award for you there, Libby. And then the 2023 winner of the Judy Rabinowitz Alternate Class Photo Award is John Bracey. I'm going to read the comments first, and then we get to Where's the glasses? All right. It's a color, too. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> the, the comments from the judge were the colors and vertical composition really work well here. And the person with the umbrella adds to the storytelling. Good impact. Congratulations. Yeah, the next award, the next award is the Patrick K. Doherty Photo Travel Award. Patrick was an avid travel photographer who was an active SCC member from the late 70s to the early 90s. He was instrumental in developing our competition classes, and he strove to improve the quality of judging for the club. He passed away in 2005. In 2022, the Patrick K. Doherty Award went to Lou Norton, a street scene. Lou? In 2023, the Patrick K. Doherty Photo Travel Award goes to John McGarry for light snow, pine tree, and brace rock. Congratulations. All right. You want to see this. <laughs> Wonderful lighting and composition. The powdered sugar effect of the snow makes the scene. Hello. 
All right. Moving on. The Ed Emmons Memorial Award, Best Alternate Class, Nature Image. Ed is described as a true master nature photographer. He delighted in photographing all manner of insects, as well as birds and animals. He won the SEC Nature Slide of the Year seven times. This trophy was donated in Ed's memory by Jeff Feldman when Ed passed away in 2014. The 2022 Ed Emmons Memorial Award went to Lincoln, Linda Fickinger for Good Luck Manny. Let me get up. The 2023 winner of the Ed Emmons Memorial Award Best Alternate Class Image, Bill Eternus. All lunch, all wrapped up. <laughs> so, Bill, the comments from the judge were great storytelling and detail. What the caption? We've moved on already. <laughs> um, Robert Strindberg Memorial Award, Best Nature Image of the Year. Robert was a well-known New England nature photographer and a member of the Sinsbury Camera Club in its early years. He won numerous NECCC and PSA awards for his work. In the NECCC conference image competition every summer, the best bird image receives the Robert Strindberg Ornithology Award. So he's recognized by them as well. Robert passed away in 1982. In 2022, Robert Strindberg Memorial Award Best Nature Image of the Year went to Libby Lord, Window Skimmer at Rest. And again, Libby's in 2023, the Robert Strindberg Memorial Award Best Nature Image of the Year, drum roll, Frank Sorembo, Me and My Shadow. Congratulations, Sam. The judge's comments were, the subject shadow is the icing on the cake, but the subject matter, details, and diagonal composition are fantastic. Congratulations, Frank. The next award is the John R. Kennedy Memorial Award Portrait of the Year. John was a photographer in the service during World War II who turned professional when he returned home. He specialized in industrial and architectural photography as well as portraiture. He passed away in 2008. The 2022 winner of the John R. Kennedy Memorial Award Portrait of the Year is Aline Galen for contemplation.
Oh, jump right ahead. <laughs> In 2023, now we have no surprise. Um, <laughs> we go again. In 2023, the John R. Kennedy Memorial Award Portrait of the Year. This year's winner is John Straub. <laughs> Her snicker and sneer. I love this. Okay. The judge's comments were fun, comical, and timeless. <laughs> <laughs> she must have had girls. That's kind of like Joe. That's true, just like John. Yeah. <laughs> and you got that at the uh, family photo shoot? Exactly. So it's one of the bonuses. Just one of the bonuses. Stuff happens. Photo shoot. Just sitting there, you get it. All right, now we're on to the big draw. Ball. The Nathan Gutman Memorial Best Creative Image of the Year. Nathan was a longtime enthusiastic and innovative club member who took particular joy in making creative images out of everyday items. He has helped establish the Simsbury Library Lecture Series. He was a Holocaust survivor. Please see the member recognition call written by Lou Morton on the website. It's fascinating. Nathan passed away in 2015. In 2022, the Nathan Gutman Memorial Award went to Frank Zaremba for the Lady of the Forest. Congratulations. In 2023, the Nathan Gutman Memorial Award Best Creative Image of the Year goes to Bill Payne. <laughs> Well, All right. Bill, the judge said, very creative use of multiple exposure and a trade and a trend. That's a big one. No person. Now we're on to Katrina Metzger. Oops. Okay. Katrina Metzger Award, alternate class, best image of the year. Jim Katrina and Bruce Metzger are both longtime active club members, who, among other things, were particularly instrumental in the club transitioning from film to digital. Thankfully, this is not a memorial award. <laughs> in 2022, the Katrina Metzger alternate class best image of the year went to John Parisi for mother, mom and daughter on the bus, Hartford. <laughs> in 20 I don't know in 2023 jumping ahead the Katrina Metzger alternate class best image of the year this winner year's winner is Lou Norton <laughs> Back again um, for Icelandic makeshift walkway. The layers, storytelling, and atmosphere really make this image resonate. Thank you. 
presentations. And the John McGarry Award Best Image of the Year. John has been a member since 1978. He's worn the hats of president, slide chairman, judge, and lecturer, to name just a few. His photography, microphones. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. His photography, which ranges from nature to landscapes to photojournalism and beyond, is widely recognized and is very inspirational. He has won the SEC end of the year trophies 15 times more than any other member. Mm. <laughs> Now, last year's winner of the John McGarry Best Image of the Year was John Straw, soaring at Salisbury. And now, Major drum roll. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. <laughs> 2023 John McGarry Award Best Image of the Year. Oh. John McGarry. <laughs> <laughs> The color, harmony, texture, low eye-to-eye -eye composition, subject details, and subject matters make this image just stellar. Congratulations. And before I give out just one last award, oh, yeah. before I give out just one last award, I have to make one big thank you to Peter Rizzotto. Yeah. Peter has been doing all the photography for my And here's our last award, a special recognition. For Rob. And Rob, I think you probably recognize yourself in that image. <laughs> I, I want you to know that that water skier is barefoot, uh -huh. thanks to John Straw. <laughs> so, Rob, you have two little. Is that AI? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you that. Oh, okay. you get that next. Okay. Rob has been oops, microphone, sorry. Rob has been our treasurer since 2015. He's put up with us and all of our financial shenanigans for all those years. <laughs> it's, been, it's been thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. One more image. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 and that is, is from Frank Zaremba. He made sure you had one that was perfect for you. <laughs> and here's, here's a memento of him to Rob, our great longtime SCC treasurer. Thanks for all your years of excellent financial management. Absolutely. Glad 2015 to, do it. to 2023. Thank Glad you. Glad to do it. Thanks for Thank you. Uh, and many thanks to Danielle for organizing this event and making it as perfect as it happened. And a special thank you to Linda Fickinger, who has made it really work. <laughs> We're going to take a moment and give a special thanks to Susan Case for the last two years of being the president, her tremendous effort keeping us all afloat, her excellent contribution in photography, 
Um, so I think we can all of that is just something. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>